Shalom, my friends. How are you? You know, the last few weeks we've been reading about the flood in the Torah. When you think about this huge flood, what kind of imagery comes up in your mind? Thunderous, crashing waves, darkness, tremendous amount of death. Or perhaps the way that the Torah describes it, the world inside the ark, a place of paradise, of tremendous coexistence that the world has yet to see, one, see since then. And how did it all happen? Because one man, Noah, refused to be fastened to, to watching his television and measuring how tall will the waves be, how ominous will the dark winter be, and instead decided to build an ark for his family and for the world. I think there's no one as great as Noah to teach us how to survive this pandemic. We can be fixated on all the death and destruction and how horrible it truly is, or we can see the silver lining and be persistent in building our own arcs during these times. And Noah teaches us three very powerful lessons. Number one, don't isolate. No one knew if I'm going to survive this flood. In fact, he was the only one who did. Is if I don't do it alone. I need to gather together a few friends. And together, being connected with them, I'll stay afloat. I'll stay above the waves. Number two, don't hunker down, open up. Most people during these times, they turn inwards. They self-segregate, self-isolate. Think only about themselves, and Noah says, now more than ever, I have to worry about other people. And Noah schleps every single creature he possibly can onto that ark. So day two will be part of the story of survival. And the third and final lesson, Noah's eye was on the future. Noah knew that very soon the flood will be over and the gates of the ark will open. And everybody's going to look in to see, hey Noah, what did you do during this time? Did you binge on Netflix? Did you just get drunk the entire time? Or when the gates opened up, they saw that Noah actually saved the entire civilization, the entire world. My dear friends, let's gather a few friends. Let's care and be sensitive about the rest of the world. Volunteer, help as much as you possibly can. And number three, use this time to enter into our own personal arcs of study, of learning, of growth. So we come out enriched, deeper, and more sensitive human beings. Shabbat Shalom.